Hey guys, how you going? JoJo from Wayback Warrior, and today we are celebrating 200 members. Now, I made a post back on the 29th of March. It's on the screen, I'll chuck it up here. Um, and it was saying, congratulations, keep calm, you know, we got 200 members. At the moment, we're at 280 something members, which is awesome. Congratulations and welcome to all the new people. You guys um, unfortunately missed out on this giveaway, but we do have the amazing giveaway at 500 members, as well as along the way, there'll be some more little ones that I will personally be giving. There may be more that other people choose to add to this, but yeah, we're uh, an amazing community and we're growing every member by every member, every post by every post, every interaction by every interaction. So thanks everyone for being a part of this community and let's get into this video. I said, um, congratulations for 200 members and I would pick three or four people that you post a picture of a Tarzo that you would like to get graded and tell me why and I will cover the grading fee so you send it to me and then i will send it off get it graded and when it comes back i'll send it to you and pay for the postage you know you just have to pay for the postage that came to me like sending it to me anyway so we had um, a few people i ended up picking five people um and i submitted it with some other stuff and here are the results so we've got five different people and first up we have the amazing jay chan he has this beautiful Super Saiyan Goku loose one. He's in pretty pretty good condition. And he got a nine mint. So congratulations, Jay Chan. This one will be coming back to you. I did it I did speak to a um a someone today, actually. That's uh that's funny timing, but um, they had one of the, they had a Super Saiyan Vegeta loose one and they sold it. Um, and they sent me like a screenshot of how much they sold it for, but yeah. So, and actually there was someone that's looking into them. So maybe it's a growing thing with, um, with graded Tarzos, but it is what it is. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you like it. So next up we have the amazing Patrick. I'm not too sure how to say his name, honestly. Patrick Valletta. It's a really cool name regardless of the last name and he sent in a loose tarzo as well and it was none other than super saiyan goku so and this is the max power level one too if you guys are into that anyway he got a 8.5 now one thing i did notice and i just noticed with this one they don't have it on there so they've upgraded the labels in a way right so now they they have different things of what they say and I'm sorry, Patrick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they don't know how to spell fluoro. It's honestly, the work experience kid must have been working, but we'll see later. He must have been working um, the day that we got these graded. Um, next up, we have this one. This is one that I was like, look, I know it's not DBZ related, but yes, I want this graded for you just cause. <laughs> This is from Gavin Lamb. He has lots of Tarzos, but yeah, he showed me some of his ones and he showed me this and I was like, this is insane. We've got to get this graded and see what happens, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to leave that there just for the end, all right? So Gavin, you'll, we'll, we'll go to the other ones. Um, and then another one, we have Josh Archer with, look at this amazing off-center Imperfect Cell. He's, he's not the best of condition, but he's definitely off center. But um, unfortunately, CGA don't do the option of OC or anything like that, which is unfortunate. But um, anyway, so they grade it like it's a floor, a complete floor. But anyway, let's get into it, Josh. What do you reckon? It's a 10, surely. No, it got a very good fall. <laughs> I just love that it's graded though, like it's in this little slab. At least then you can still, hey, look, it's not like in a little sleeve where you're kind of like, what do I do with this? Anyway, it is great. <laughs> Amazing. Well, congratulations, Josh. Um, all right, and then lucky last, Rob Rundle, I think his name is. He got, this is a, um, 
a spotted error kind of like a spotted error i'm not too sure we i don't know the legitimacy of it but apparently there's a story about it with the ink and all that kind of thing and it happens on the red ones a lot i've seen that stuff happen on a bit of the the yellow ones too but that's for another video i reckon um but unfortunately cga the the beautiful the beautiful people over at cga australia i'm trying to do them a good service by promoting their their uh, business and hey look get you get yourself graded but unfortunately you can't grade uh, sorry you can't promote something like for free they don't pay me anything um you can't promote them when they do a shit job like what are you doing cga you are working here people are paying their money i paid money to get this stuff graded out of my pocket but just in general and you guys have been running for 10 years please get your act together stop letting the the person who is running the work experience and the quality control please stop letting them mislabel them by putting the label the wrong way that is the back of the tarzo that's the front that's the back oh my god this is the front that is the back anyway um it's just it's insane so yeah i would never try and like hide this or anything from you guys if they're gonna be this shit and they're gonna their quality control is gonna be this shit i'm gonna call them out on it pull your act together cga or i'm jumping ship i'm going the freaking pokemon card bloody grading or something I'll, I'll start my own grading company and i'll put the labels the front way bloody hell you guys have been in business 10 years i think 2012 anyway all right without further ado rob rundle i'm sorry about the rant you've got a beautiful piccolo sealed face up that should have the label not facing this way but i will get it fixed before it gets sent out to you i've already messaged you and everything you got a seven near mint so no tens unfortunately we got one nine one 8.5 and then the four from josh and then this one this one takes the cake guys look at it look at this it's not the best condition i'm gonna flip it over there it is it's looking horrible i think that's meant to be like that i'm not too sure anyway we got the amazing one poor wow sorry i didn't mean to drop it like that sorry gavin um one paw I've never seen it and i don't think i'll ever see it again but gavin this is amazing and i hope you enjoy my friend thank you for letting me send this off for you and i hope you appreciate that because i don't think i've ever seen a one paw from cga they must have looked at this and mean like that's shocking anyway um thank you to everyone i'll put this here thank yeah thank you to everyone who submitted and sent me their tarzas and trusted me for this whole time it's been a while um it's been like seven weeks at least probably eight weeks it was march 29th is when i did the post and it was a little bit after um but yeah we got it done thank you very much stay tuned for more you know giveaways that are a little bit more creative than just hey we're just gonna give stuff away so thanks again if you got guys like these i made another video before it was at the end but i never mentioned it they cost like 35 bucks from kmart they're called a five level mini figurine display case i'm looking on them on my shelf they're amazing they have led things you guys i love them they're awesome i've got my one series one two and three super face up there that's cool as anyway it's been jj from way back warrior thank you have an amazing day you amazing community i love you bye Ciao, ciao.